it's a super gloomy day today in Seoul. We're like starting at the, at the start of the monsoon season and every day has been like really ugly outside. Well, not ugly, like it's still very pretty and a vibe, but ugly if you're going around places. But today we're going around places. I'm just gonna try to have a chill day in the Hanam area. It's fairly close to our house. We're gonna go to a cafe, as well as like just kind of walk around and enjoy the rain and the vibe. It's definitely gonna be annoying lugging all of our gear around and I already look like a wet rat just coming out from my apartment <laughs> from right there literally to right here. So we'll see how it goes, but I don't know how many of you have been following me for a really long time, like ever since I was 12 and making reaction videos with my MacBook, but I used to be and still am a really, really huge fan of BAP. And yesterday was Daehyun's birthday and so today he's actually setting up a cafe for fans to come and get a free drink and he said that him and Jongup are gonna come and like say hello so we'll see how that goes but Chris and I brought our computers just to go to the cafe anyway get a free drink do some work so we'll see you there oh my hair is really pitiful <laughs> yours is already flat too uh. we literally just blow dried and styled our hair and this is what it looks like already So in his Instagram post, he said that if you come, <laughs> he said that if you come today between 12 and five and show them this screenshot, you can get one of these menus for free and that him and Jungup are gonna come and try to like have a conversation with everyone, see how we were doing. Just that he's like really grateful for all of the birthday wishes and support and stuff. I'm super excited. I'm kind of like nervous. Why am I nervous? I'm trying not to get my hopes up because again, we don't really know when they're gonna come, but this is the kind of thing that you can only do in Seoul. I've never really done anything like this before. I never even go to like idle birthday cafes, honestly. So I'm super excited and I haven't seen them in what, like three, four years. What was the last time you've seen them? I saw them, yeah, I saw them in concert during their like very last tour, like as a group, but that's been like, it says, December 2018. Yeah, so since 2018, it's been a long time, but. Four years? Yeah, four years, but I've loved them for literally so long, like ever since they became a group and even after they broke up, I'm still here, so I'm super excited. And I'm gonna wait as long as I can in the cafe for them to come if they haven't already come. We're gonna try to sit down, maybe eat a little bit and just relax and enjoy the scenery. The rain is super relaxing and calming when I'm not in it, but honestly, even today, I'm grateful because it wasn't crazy windy. We've been experiencing some crazy wind, but it was actually just kind of cool and nice, so let's go out. We're at the station, by the way, the same exact station that we use. It's a straight shot from our house, and we get off here to go to our favorite pizza place, Pizza de Buza, and apparently this cafe is literally like right behind it. Oh my gosh, my hair. Okay, let's go outside again. Yay. <laughs> I do want a coffee <laughs> now that everybody's kind of dispersed. <laughs> now that he's gone. Oh, now that everybody's dispersed, he left. Okay. I never got a coffee. My, my head kind of hurts, so mm. Let, let's go back in. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not the vibes that I was expecting. I wasn't expecting to get here right as he was here, and I thought the place was going to be bigger, so I thought I could sit down and actually open up my laptop, but I cannot. So I'm just going to go in and get a coffee and then bounce, I guess. <laughs> yeah. So Chris actually got one as well. They said it's really sweet. This is like their signature latte and Chris doesn't really drink coffee at all. He kind of hates it in fact. But since it's really sweet, he figured he would try it. And then if he doesn't want it, I can always drink it, so. I saw some people walk up. OK. 
Okay. And apparently, Aeon got 100 drinks, and we're 105 and 106, so it actually went over with their being nice, I guess. Oh. But then a few other people who went after us, they, they got They didn't get it? Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Yep. So I this didn't. is one of the last... Last drinks? BAP drinks. Cheers. I didn't. I already tried it, but. How do I? How do I call him? Better not call him Oppa when you don't even call me Oppa. Whatever, man. Whatever, man. Anyway, thank you. <laughs> it's hella good. I wouldn't say it's like crazy cuckoo sweet. Like, I still taste coffee, but it's good. Coffee's smooth. They're probably being nice because they've been sauced there for a million years. Probably. You're, you stand out. <laughs> do I? Not today. There are a lot of foreigners here. Not a lot with uh, white hair though. I guess. And then also a tall boyfriend, Korean boyfriend, dressed exactly like her with also white hair. But yeah, what are we gonna do now? I wanna wait on Jongup. I do. But am I supposed to just stand here all day? But the drinks are done too. So yeah, drinks are I done. Wait. I don't know. Maybe we'll linger for like yeah, just hang around while you're drinking 15, your coffee. right. Like just drink the coffee and we'll see. But if not, I do have to go to Gangnam because I lost a ring there, my favorite ring. And luckily somebody's holding it for us. It's actually four rings, but I wear it in a stack. <laughs> but yeah, someone's holding it for us, so I have to go get that. And then before that, are we gonna pick up pizza de puza or no? Okay, well, I'll chill for a little bit, yeah. Okay, so I finally left the cafe. I ended up staying for how many hours? Like four? Yeah. A long time. I did wait for Jong Up because I felt like I needed to. I missed him a lot. Originally, Daehyun came first, like as soon as we got there. And he went around and gave everybody coffee and was super nice and talked with everyone. And then he left. So that's when I decided like, hey, I'm actually gonna go ahead and get a coffee and just kind of chill a little bit. And he actually, I guess, just ate lunch and then came back. I got to see him again. And then he asked if Chris was my boyfriend, and I said yes. He asked if he was Korean, and Chris said yes, and he was like, oh. <laughs> and he pointed out our hair color, and now we match. <laughs> and then I actually worked up the courage to ask him to write 1004 on a piece of paper for me to go get tattooed. Make sure you don't drop it. I know, that's why I didn't want to take it out, Perfect. honestly. It's on a bra receipt. <laughs> Yeah. I didn't have anything else. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be careful with that. Mm, but I've actually wanted to get that tattooed for a really long time because that's like my favorite song and this just felt like the perfect opportunity to ask. I can add it to my arm of handwriting musical stuff and I asked Chris for permission and he helped me ask. So because I obviously have no Korean skills otherwise, so. And he did it for me, and then I accidentally started a mob of people wanting signatures, and that's when it all went downhill for me. It was like, whoosh, and then I was crushed, and I just don't understand how fangirls survive, but I, I couldn't, like, I was, yeah, not having fun at that point, anxiety attack, claustrophobia, and then in the middle of that, jong up came, and I got to take a picture with him. My hair looks like this. It's so embarrassing. But it's I did it and they're so nice and I missed them. And I expected this to be more of like a, a chill come song rainy day vlog, but it just turned into me staying at that cafe literally all day. So 
It's the next day, if you couldn't tell. I just wanted to give a little bit of an update on the fact that I got my ring. Even though I was kind of tired, we did manage to go back and get my ring. And we ate pizza de buza for dinner, and it was so delicious, as per usual. Literally, if you're ever in the Hanam area, the Alo Romana pizza is literally the best pizza on this earth. Chris and I both agree, even better than the States, better than anything else we've tried. It's a cheesy potato pizza and it's got like rosemary and just delicious, oh, so good. So that was a wonderful way to end the day, but I did already have a pretty good day yesterday. I think it was so sweet that Daehyun went out of his way to arrange an event like that for fans, literally buy so much coffee. It's insane and made sure to personally give everyone drinks who wasn't able to get one out of his like original 100 whatever drinks that he had reserved. I just, I, and it's for someone who's not even in a group anymore, like I just feel like that's, that's so sweet and that just sort of shows the person that he is. And that's one of the big reasons why I loved BAP so much to begin with because they were all like just really really good dudes i mean <laughs> yeah <laughs> i definitely had fun it was a very unique experience for me for sure the beginning was definitely a lot better than sort of towards the end <laughs> when i mentioned people started getting a little a little crazy for autographs a little too fangirly for me i feel like there's a line that i have that i tend to not really cross and i i was thinking about why i'm okay with sort of being like crowded and claustrophobic and everything in concerts and not really so much when it's those kind of situations and I genuinely feel like one, I just feel a little silly, I guess, doing that just to like see somebody face to face versus like at, at concerts and shows, it feels like something that's inevitable and everybody kind of goes through and that's just part of the show and the experience. But also I've noticed that in life, I kind of go through feeling like I'm in everyone's way all of the time. I look at my feet when I walk, I make myself small when I walk. I'm kind of like a, a anxious person and a very self-conscious person. So. When I'm like among all of these other fans who I know have been fans of him for so long and clearly like go to these events and stuff like this, I just can't help but feel like I'm in their way or like deterring them from like doing their thing or whatever, I guess. Whereas concerts, I feel like I paid to be there and I have a right to be there, I guess. So towards the end when everyone was trying to get their autographs and their photos, I just spent a majority of the time sort of like ducking and weaving so that people could like get through. And I think that that just sort of added to my anxiety. And I think Dayhan kind of caught on to it. I wasn't trying to be visually uncomfortable. I definitely tried to like leave the crowd a few times. So maybe that's why, but he kept being like, oh, are you okay? Or whatever, whenever somebody would like try to like send something past my head and it would touch me, he'd be all like, oh, I'm so, I'm sorry, blah, blah, blah. So he's just seems like a person who really takes care of his fans. That was super sweet and a great experience, but yeah. Just self-reflecting, <laughs> I have this new friend here who's a huge mom bebe and weenie and she goes to like all of their schedules, okay? If Wanho's somewhere, she's there. And because I love Monster X and Wanho as well, she's like kind of been planning some things to do with me. And like after this experience, I'm like, I don't know how comfortable I am going around with you, girl. I just don't think I'm, I'm really cut out for that, but I am still, you know, very excited to do things with her and have these new experiences because I, I think she said this as well, the way that Korean people fangirl is just like completely different than the way that people in the states fangirl so i had fun and that's about it i'm just rambling at this point but look forward to more vlogs in the future be on the lookout for my first seoul korea tattoo experience video because now it's coming so exciting i can continue the tradition i don't know if i've ever mentioned it but everything on my arm and shoulder or whatever is like a uh, handwriting from musicians that i really really love and support or like albums that i, I love so I'm continuing the tradition and a video is coming. Thank you so much for watching this one and I'll talk to you later.